Hi, my name is James Flint. I'm a professional photographer and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how pixels are converted to bytes. Uh, it's important to understand the relationship between pixels and bytes because, you know, your camera takes, a digital camera takes an image and it's not storing it on film like uh, film cameras. It's, uh, it's turning the light into pixels and bytes of information which will then be transferred to your computer or a viewing screen and it's important to understand how big your files are so that you know, you know how much space it's going to take up on your computer, uh, how much space it's going to take up on your camera when you're actually doing the shooting, uh, how you may want to back up or store the images, and then again, uh, what type of image quality you're going to have when it comes time to print. So it's important to understand that uh, converting pixels to bytes is not really a conversion as much as it is a calculation. Uh, you need to determine how large the file will be, and that's why you need this calculation. As a rule, there's 16 bits of file size per pixel. Uh, that means there's 8 bits per byte and 2 bits is equal to 1 byte. Um, if a display is 800 by 600 pixels, you need to take that 800, multiply it by the 600, and you get 480,000. That's going to tell you the number of pixels. Now, the bytes is equal to the number of pixels times the bytes per pixel. So, we already said we have 480,000 pixels. Now we multiply it by the 2 bytes per pixel and you get 960,000 bytes. Um, the same calculation can be used uh, with any resolution. You just have to make that adjustment in the equation first and then you can apply it the same as we did with the 800 by 600. Again, it's important to understand uh, the file size of your photos so that you have enough room on your camera when you're shooting. You don't want to be out in the field and run out of memory space. And then also it'll help you with storing images on your computer or a hard drive and making prints so that you know you have the right size. So it's important to understand the relationship between pixels and bytes and that is the calculation we use to convert pixels to bytes.